¿Qué tal amigos? Hoy les presento este amplificador súper compacto. Utiliza el TDA8560, que es un integrado de cara audio. Así que podemos trabajar con batería, podemos trabajar con la fuente del computador, cualquier fuente switchada de 12 voltios, o si queremos hacemos el transformador y una fuente rectificadora también. Entonces les recuerdo, es muy sencillo de hacer, muy económico. A continuación, veamos cómo se hace. Construya, construya su video rocola, rocola. Amplifier with TDA 8560Q. It presents a small stereo amplifier, which delivers a power, since from 25 watts in 4 ohms, to 40 watts in 2 ohms. Materials Next, shown the necessary materials, to realize this great project. The PCB, it can be done from the drawing that is in the PDF file, it found videorecola.com website. Six resistors from 1 4 watt, of values specified below. Two electrolytic capacitors, two of polyester, and one ceramic capacitor. Terminals of different types. The integrated circuit TDA 8560Q. 10K or 20K dual potentiometer. A 2N3906 transistor. One LED of diffused light of 5 mm and one aluminum heatsink, one eighth inch screws and nuts. Construction Takes the 4.7 ohms resistor. Measure over the PCB. The terminals are folded to the precise distance, so that fit in the PCB. And place the resistor in its respective place. The resistor terminals, it bend to outside, so that it does not leave the PCB. Now, take in one of the three 10K resistors. And it is placed in its respective place. The same is done with the second 10K resistor. And the third and last resistor of 10K. Now, place the 1K resistor. And finally, place the 100K resistor. Now proceed to solder all the resistors. You remember that the correct way to weld, is done joining soldering iron, welding and piece to weld, at the same time. Cut the terminal's resistor's excess. These are going to be used later as jumpers. Takes one excess of wire of a component already used. Measure over the PCB, where the jumper goes. And it bends at the right distance, so that it fits perfectly into the PCB. It is placed in its respective site. Bend to outside the wires, so that the jumper does not come off. And it welds. Now, one of the 0.47 microfarad capacitors, is placed in its respective place, on the PCB board. And bend to outside the terminals. Take the other 0.47 microfarad capacitor and bend the terminals, so that they are arranged so that they to fit into the PCB board. And it is placed in its respective place. The terminals are bent outwards. Finally, place the 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor. And it welds. Now, proceed to place the 47 microfarad capacitor, respecting its polarity. 
and in the same way, placed the 2200 microfarads capacitor. The white stripe is the negative pole. Weld them. The 2N3906 transistor must be placed, as shown in the component mask. Now, to place the LED, first bend the terminals to one side, so that the LED look the front of the amplifier. Place the volume potentiometer in its respective place. And it welds. The potentiometer housing must be connected to ground to avoid interference noise. For this reason, the PCB has a hole where a wire is welded. The wire is curved with the shape of the potentiometer body. The other wire tip end is welded to the potentiometer housing. Now proceed to place the 3.5 mm jack in the audio signal input. Place the terminals that will be the speaker's outputs. Place the 2.1 mm DC jack which will be the power input. And weld. Now place the main component is the TDA8560 IC. It should be placed as high as possible, so that the terminals will not touch the jumper, which is under it. Weld all the pins or terminals of the TDA8560 IC. Now comes to place the heatsink, one of the most important pieces to give long life to the amplifier. Mark the point where the perforations will be made, through which they will pass the screws, that they assure an integrated circuit to the heatsink. Make the perforations with the 184 964th inch drill bit. Countersunk the holes with the white drill bit. This is so that the integrated circuit leans perfectly on the aluminum. Now, apply silicone grease over the back of the TDA8560. Place the screws from the back of the heatsink. The card is placed in front, making the back of the TDA lean against the front of the heatsink. Place the washers. And finally the nuts. The integrated circuit against the heatsink should be very well secured. And we have ready the super compact 80 watt amplifier. Now you listen to the live sound test. A cable with stereo plug on each side connects to the audio input of the amplifier. And the other plug is connected to the mobile device audio output. Connect a polarized cable to speaker output terminal. The other cable tip end is connected to the speaker input. Another polarized cable is connected to the other speaker output terminal. Respect the polarity shown in the video. 
The other end of the cable is connected to the input of the other speaker. The plug of the power supply is connected to the DC jack. And feed the power supply with the public network energy. Amigos, ahora veamos cómo nuestro pequeño amplificador es capaz de mover dos cabinas con parlantes de 15 pulgadas. Así no lo crean. Escuchen. Tampoco se mete home. 